On the wind that lifts a perfume through the air I'm picking up good vibrations She's giving me the excitations I'm backing up good vibrations She's giving me the excitations Good vibrations, the Beach Boys, right here on Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. I certainly am. Uh, doing a quick one on, well, change, the concepts of change. And to some degree, I think I've got this whole difference between master and, and student uh, when it comes to the way we view change. And truly, this is uh, one of the biggest, major, solid differences between the between the person that has mastered this uh, art of allowing or this law of attraction or spiritual or whatever. The difference between when it comes into all this stuff is when change occurs, the master understands that this is expected and leads to what we've been trying to create. The student oftentimes looks at the change and thinks that things are falling apart relative to what they're trying to create. And there's a huge difference. So let's talk about change. Let's talk about the way manifestation tends to play itself out. This is going to be a quick video today, but I think it's going to have some nuggets in it. And a lot of people, will, well, a couple people, really like two, I think, so far, that have said, you know, let's try to cut it down a little bit, Dan. So here we go. We're going to give it a, give it a go on that one. One of the primary things when it comes to law of attraction, we're trying to manifest, trying to manifest a specific person in our life, maybe trying to manifest someone back. Maybe we're trying to manifest uh, more money. Maybe we're trying to manifest uh, 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 whatever, right? A boat, a car, a house, a, the world. Uh, I want to control everybody. Like whatever you're trying to manifest. And hopefully it's not something along those lines, but it works towards that if that's what you're trying to do. There's some karmic lessons there, but whatever. When it comes to trying to create these things, what that means, since we're trying to create something that's currently different than what we are experiencing, when we are trying to essentially alter what our current reality is, that means something's got to change. I think everybody can get behind that. I think everybody can totally, absolutely agree that change is something that you're trying to create. Now, everybody likes to call themselves, I'm a change agent. I like change. I support change. Change is awesome. Just about 100% of people hate change. We hate change. Change sucks. We may like the concept of it. We may like the way it works out. We may like what it brings about. We may like where it's heading, but the concept or the act of going through change is change. It is going from something of which you've been doing to something that you're no longer doing. It is generally awkward somehow and a little uncomfortable. Change is beautiful. Change is the path to where you're going. That's why oftentimes action can come into play and all these other things, right? Because in order to make change happen, sometimes something needs to be done. Something has to um, change, has to manifest, has to metamorphosize within ourselves. And when we start to try to manifest things, we will be working and doing the work and doing the work and doing the work. And then suddenly we lose our job or suddenly they're laying us off or they're suddenly this person hops into a relationship, or then suddenly something happens that is not happy or not my ideal for right now, aka change, also known as change. Something is changing, and the student frequently looks at the change and goes, Oh my God! Ah! The master looks at the change and goes, cool, great, <laughs> about time. I'm stoked this is coming. This means what I've been trying to create is here, right now. The path to it or the next evolution within it. Maybe there's levels of growth that need to occur before this thing can happen. Maybe there's forgiveness that needs to happen. Then maybe a little maturing maybe needs to happen. And then maybe kind of this weird, oddly mutual 50-50 change where it used to maybe be off balanced. 
needs to happen. So maybe those are the three steps of integration in your particular situation. Or maybe uh, it has to do with how needy we were, right? And how often things happened. And this can even be if we're starting to start a new relationship, sometimes these processes of changing from previous to new requires evolution and growth. I've talked about this a bunch of times. So change is inevitable. It is really, really should be rejoiced. So I'd like a lot of you guys to start thinking about change a little differently. The only difference between master and student. Master didn't necessarily see this coming per se. You know, it's the how, right? We don't necessarily know how things are going to play out. But what we do know is that when change occurs, that indicates a major adjustment in life. Now, I'm going to give a quick example, and it's just, this is what inspired the story, and this is where I was like, ah, you know, my show was going to be on something totally different, I, and maybe I'll do that tomorrow, who knows, but this, this is major, major, major changes have occurred in my life within a small span of time. New job, significant bump, good stuff. Uh, so transitioning from a job where I really, really loved my job and I loved my team, right? So there's going to be some, some hurt there, but that transition, that's awesome. Yay. Uh, but then I'm going to working for my house, right? Which is cool in its own right. But also at the same time, you don't have that interaction with people. So that's a little bit of a, right? So that's a change, huge, significant. Also coffee shop done as of a couple days ago. That's done. I, I have been doing coffee for 14 years. Wow. Not doing that anymore. That's pretty crazy. And there is uh, another significant change that for the life of me right now is uh, evading me. But still, whatever the case is, oh, the stand-up thing, uh, certainly part of this. There's a number of things that are changing within my world at one time. And yes, it's a little sketchy. Yeah, absolutely. But I look at it and I knew as soon as it was happening, I'm like, wow. When you've got a number of things in your life that are transitioning simultaneously, that's awesome. That's an enormous shift that is about to occur in my life. I crossed a thousand in YouTube. That was another thing that was cool too, right? So this is a transition and a shift that's occurring. I don't exactly know what tomorrow brings, but I'll tell you what, I'm 100% sure this has everything to do with what I've been manifesting. This is happening because of what I've been manifesting. This change that's occurring right now is because I've manifesting. I'm manifesting. And I know I just mentioned, and this question popped into my head that I can see someone asking in the comment. I had mentioned, what if your person starts dating someone else? How is that a good thing? How is that like getting a new job and getting a raise? No, it's slightly different. But what it indicates is that this individual is transitioning. And there's some lessons that need to be learned, obviously. Why do I say obvious? Because he's getting in a relationship with another person. And if you are manifesting him back into your life, which I believe because this is what you're telling me, right? You're telling me I'm manifesting him back. Okay, well, then you're manifesting him back. So if he's in another relationship right now, that obviously represents transition and change for him. So then he can circle back to you. And maybe that process is also meant to strengthen your love and devotion towards him to where you can actually love him beyond the fact that he's necessarily dating someone else. Using an example that I mentioned earlier, not that this applies to everybody, but there's one way where I can easily spin that experience into a positive. If you are definitely manifesting what you're manifesting, because we believe it, I ask that only to you because maybe you're questioning it right now. I believe it. So when things start to happen, I know that's related to what I'm trying to create. And if it's a necessary evil, if you will, if it's something I have to walk through in order to get to this place that I'm creating, then so be it. Or in my case, I'm walking away from a team I love. I love, love these people. Been working with them. I almost said guys, but I do have one lady on my team and then my boss is a lady. So it's a wonderful team. And I love these people. They've been great to me. So yeah, yeah, that's part of the transition. I got to give up my family for this bit of a transition that's actually going to offer me some other stuff too. And it's going to open up some doors for me that didn't exist currently. This is how change occurs. This is what it's about. This is why we hope for it. This is what we're hoping 
to get out of it. I hope this makes a difference. I hope you guys can see that the only difference between master and student is acknowledging when it happens, this is obviously towards what I'm creating. I don't question, oh my God, I must be doing something wrong. No, this is what I created. This is evidence of it. It's a sign. It's just not one that seems overtly, obviously good, but it's part of it. So you rejoice when you see it. You see it as a sweet. This is significant. And when you can do that and look at what's happening right now to you, well, now you're a master. Now you get this. You're going to have no issues because you're not going to get all crazy about stuff when things happen. You'll see the things happening as aspects of this path, as streetlights, as glowing uh, you know, uh, fireflies along your path showing you the way. It's indications that the changes that you're creating are in fact happening. Rejoice the change. Rejoice that weird, freaky, scary, ew, I wish it didn't have to happen thing. It's a good thing. You might not like it, but it is part of the thing you're creating. Enjoice and, re- and embrace. Not everything about how this, how this happens is necessarily going to be to your liking, but understand that all these things that are happening are part of the how. And the universe is working that out. And sometimes there's aspects, maybe whatever. Sometimes there's things we need to learn along the way. Hopefully, hopefully this makes a difference. Going out with just an amazing song, by the way. I love it uh, completely. It is by a guy named Jackie Wilson. It was also featured in one of the Ghostbuster movies. I want to say the first one when they sprayed the goo all over the Statue of Liberty and made her walk. This was the song they were playing. It is your love is lifting me higher and higher. Stan Radio style. Quench my desire. 